And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Mage Seeker locks. This is our deck that is built around our two incredibly good spell champions with Heimerdinger and Lux. And the new card since the, the past update, the, the new Mage Seeker, Mage Seeker Persuader and Mage Seeker Investigator, which are both completely different cards now. And much better and really want us to cast a six cost spell. Um... You know, this one turns into a 2-mana 4-3 Challenger, which is amazing. And this turns into a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three that creates a Detain, which is also very, very good. But we need to cast a 6-cost spell. So the goal of our deck is to cast that 6-cost spell on turn 3. Um, you know, bank the 3-mana the from turns 1 and 2. And then on turn 3, we want to play either Remembrance or Unlicensed Innovation. Help us stabilize and go from there. Now I found, you know, we found last time that we played this that that can be a little bit, uh, a little bit slow. You know, not doing anything on turn one or two and just you know playing like a five five on turn three. And so the card that I think that we are really missing and the new card that we're putting in here is Eager Apprentice. I think this is perfect for the deck that we have a two mana two one that we can play. We refill our two spell mana so we can still on turn three cast these things. So I think that. Um, basically, our goal is to have Eager Apprentice on turn two every game and then play one of these things on turn three every game. Like That's that's what we're going to be mulliganing for, and I think that will uh, help enable our, our Mage Seekers and, and turn our deck on and everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to be going with. And then, of course, besides that, we have uh, Heimerdinger with Flash of Brilliance, and Heimerdinger is just amazing, right? And so uh, we have that with like the Flash of Brilliances and doing all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we have the Luxes that uh, are also very, very good. In order to fit in the Eager Apprentices, I did cut down on the Mage Seekers. I decided to um, decide to get rid of the Mage Seeker insight, uh, Insider, you know, because a 4-mana four 4-3 four, is, I mean, that's, you know, it's basically Chump Lump, right? So, like... Chump Lump's good, but Chump Lump is Chump Lump's good because it makes the two extra cards for you. As far as a four mana six five, it's actually I mean that's a good body and everything, but um it's not like it's not something that like that's absolutely amazing. You know, it's especially if we're already playing like all of these kind of things. Um I don't know. I, I decided if we need to find room for the eager apprentices, this is how I, I found the room. Um Yeah. So um I've heard people like compare compare this to like Bull Elnuck, where Bull Bull Elnuck's like a four mana four five. So like we have to like get the six plus cost spell thing to give like a Bull Elnuck plus two plus zero and turn it in from a turn it from being a four five to be a six five. Um, you know, see, it's there's not a huge difference between those. It's basically basically Bull Elnuck after we cast our six mana cost spell. So uh, which is you know perfectly fine, but we can probably do better. All right, so uh, let's give this a try. Let's see how this works with, with Eager Apprentice. Let's see how good Eager Apprentice is for our deck. Um, and we'll go play some Mage Seeker Lux. Make sure, okay, looks good. All right. Well, we have the Apprentice, the other card that we need, but we need to get that six drop now. We'll see if we'll see if we regret not having that that other Mage Seeker because with it costing four, it was like the the curve of uh, you know play your six mana spell on turn three, then on turn four you'd have a six five. It was a very good curve. So we'll see if, if I regret not having that available. Oh. How can I help? Hey, Pine Peace.
Um, I think we... So basically we could thermogenic beam this thing and get rid of it, but then we don't have... Um, then we don't have six mana available if we do draw the six mana spell for next turn. I think that's okay to do. Warshafts is very, very impactful. I think it's good getting rid of that thing. Alright, we did not get our six mana spell. I didn't want to uh, play anything last turn because I wanted to bank the three mana to be able to have with Heimerdinger. So now we can play like Static Shock. Something and then have uh, Heimerdinger next turn. Which... Maybe I don't play this. Well, that made life easier. There are kids, kids walking by. And so the dogs bark. Let's go, Heimerdinger. And I'm not not going to be playing to get excited. I want to have Barrier Protect Heimerdinger. I think we block, right? Punish me for blocking. Repost. Yeah, basically repost would. Alright, we don't make the decision. Oh, nope. No blocks. Progress waits for no one. So this turn I'm just going to be playing Lux and still not doing anything. Yeah, so now single combat kills. Like, I, I wanted to protect against single combat, but now I can't really protect against single combat. Um... The only thing I can do against single combat, you know, would be to have both of these. Hmm. Let the light guide you. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Yay! No single combat. No single combat. Um. What's my play? Is it nothing?
Hmm. Maybe the play was just to double get excited them. And make the th try to make the three ones that would attack them. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I feel like that's going to be my play for this next turn. They're going to kill my Heimerdinger. And I guess I think I'm just going to let them. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. And then I'm just going to use all these burn spells upstairs. Oh, right. I need to keep one of these in hand to discard to get excited. I was thinking just get, like, some chump blockers out. But no, I need to discard those to get excited. I don't know. It's going to be a weird turn. All right. I feel like I just had a, a weird turn. I feel like I didn't. I wish I didn't play these things. Am I just going to get blown out by judgment? Of course I am. Alright, this was just a really, really, really poorly played game by me. This is a very, very poorly game, played game. But hopefully it's a good, good learning lesson. What, what I really should have done when we last turn, like just th these last two turns I played very poorly. Um, like, playing the two creatures out like I did, like, that was, those were useless cards. Like, those were cards that I should have been discarding to my get excited. What I should have done here is, um, really need to get aggressive. And, uh, like, when we untapped with those two, Heimerdinger and Lux, I should have just sent two get excited up, upstairs, right at them, dealt six damage, and... Uh, made two three ones with elusive. You know, they were at 18. So that would have put him down to 12 with me having nine power of attack. Plus, I would have made. Um, plus, I, you know, that would have leveled up Lux and we would have gotten a final spark. And then the final spark could have killed the the two one and dealt three damage. Like, I could have, I could have just killed them. That other turn. Um, yeah, so that was. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get a lot more aggressive. Lux is definitely going. And I'm gonna keep these cards. I don't want Lux at all right now. Basically, I need to draw things to do the first few turns, which which is why a Eager Apprentice is a good draw. But uh, having uh, having Heimerdinger with Barrier is a really great turn five. I just need need to survive. So I was hoping that we'd start drawing some other stuff to do. There we go. That see that works. Um, I'm keeping the Purify because this deck is all about buffs. It's about um, 
buffing their own things, you know, using Omen Hawk, using Jewel Protector. And this is a great Purify matchup. Also can turn something from being elusive to not elusive anymore. And then we would be able to block it with an illegal contraption. I'm not going to purify these, though. I think they can have something much bigger that we need to purify. I've read all your manuscripts. No, my. What's the correct protocol here? I don't think they'll have any removal for Heimerdinger, so honestly, maybe I should have gotten rid of Prismatic Barrier. Maybe I shouldn't have kept it. Exactly, that's my that's my plan. F three ones block the small elusives. That's my plan. Could have attacked in and purified, but I didn't have any mana left after doing that. One, but... Yeah, see, big elusives. That's what... So we need to start purifying. Doing this to get another 3-1 blocker. Is it worth using the Purify yet? I think so, because I have I have this that will give me Detain, so if they have something else that's like really big, we'll be able to Detain it. Instead of blocking with the 5-4, I'm going to block with this 2-1 to get it off the battlefield so I have more room. I do need more room. Purify first to discard small cannon. Yeah, I could I could have discarded the small cannon instead of the barrier. Yeah, I could have done that. That's good good call. Yeah, that's a good call. That that would have been better. Didn't replay Omen Hawk. It's interesting. They'll never see me coming. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. Hey, 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. It's that's true. It is. It's harder to see some things whenever you're piloting. So yeah, that's yeah, that's uh, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, always like chat point out something like that. Um, I feel like a lot of times, like if I go back and like watch, you know, watch like the videos on on YouTube and um, you know rewatch the games, I'm I'm like, oh, well, I, I need to be, you know. Uh, I need to do this and then this and then this and I I like do something else and I'm like what do you, what am I doing that's not the right thing to be doing, but I don't know if like I have some kind of knowledge of kind of remembering what's going to happen, uh, even if it's even if I'm watching a game from a couple of weeks prior, um, or like that could. Oh man, they're attacking this turn. Uh oh. Um, well, I guess game. But again, like if I if I go back and watch that game, I'm sure I'm sure I could have made you know just just throw out more barriers or something and just make more three one and elusives or I'm sure there's other things that I should have been doing there. <laughs> yeah, if I could turn back time, it's streaming is it, it does make it a lot more difficult because you I'm not I'm not 100% focused on the game. Um, you know, I'm like, I don't, yeah, you know, I'm, I guess I'm like, you know, 60, 70% focused on the game and then also focused on, you know, chat and, and, uh, and then also focused on, um, what to be saying. Cause you know, I don't want it just to be a lot of dead air. So I'm trying to think of things to say to fill the air. And so it's not, um. So it's not just a hundred percent. Um, <laughs> you're not, you're not streaming, but still making many mistakes. I mean, yeah, it's it's a difficult game too. This is a really challenging game that you really have to think a lot about with every decision. Honestly, it's not an easy one. As far as my turn three play, I like going innovation first before remembrance because remembrance can cost less later on, and you know we can have like radiant guardian be unlocked if we if we wait um yeah i've been playing legends of runeterra instead of dvg this is a really good quality game and uh i wrote uh i don't know month month or two ago whenever whatever uh about why I'm playing this game instead. So there's the Google document with that. So if I cast this Investigator, we'll have one mana next turn. We get the extra five, so we'll have six total mana, which is enough for Remembrance. So that's cool. Yeah, I had some... Yep. I had a, I had a couple friends that, that really recommended it. And, um, and, you know, like, whenever I was, like, moving and everything, I had some extra time and, like, watched some videos and stuff and, and looked into it and, and, uh, and then, yeah, started playing it. It's, it's great. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and skip this. Come on, Radiant Guardian. Oh, still a pretty tough card. Hey, Elnux. Cool. 
Cool, our opponent's still playing some Elnux. We should play some Elnux again. It's been a while since we've right nucked it up. Harsh. Oh, poor Radiant Guardian, we need you last time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never wanted to use the auto tap and on Magic Online. Arena it worked pretty decent, but no, you never wanted that on Magic Online. Um, brum, 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 brum. We can uh, we can definitely detain the Brom. That's not bad. I'm just going to cast that. Wait for more cards. This gives me nine in hand, so we still get to draw our card for turn. Gonna kill my 1-1. One, one. Nope. Whoa. I really hope to kill the Stefan. I don't want it to survive damage and get plus three, plus zero. Alright, well, let's survive damage. Eight mana. The sun is shining. We should too. Rom's taking five for leveling up. Maybe that should be going towards Braum. I'm not sure. Sweet. Alright, picked up a win. Portal Elnux. One and two. Let's see, we got Garen Lucian. Uh, I think we just played against Bobby Sapphire not too long ago. Um, I'm gonna mulligan these two. I don't know, Persuader's not bad. We can play it on turn two. It's just, you know, a two mana three two that can just trade with something. May 
maybe... Maybe these don't actually trade. Okay, Laurent protege would not be good. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Senna's good. That's good. We get to Mystic Shot that. That's cool. I need a chump block for just two life. We'll save that. Feed Demacia. Mm. Magic has no place here. Alright, end the round. I guess I probably could have attacked with my 3-3, but I don't really want it dying either. I've got your back. Professor, I've read all your manuscripts. Don't lie. See what's the correct protocol here. No one goes hungry. Or Demacia. So if I want to play, like, do I want to block with this and trade here? If I do, I don't get to create a detain. Definitely feel like a detain could be a valuable card. Let's do this block, or maybe, maybe we get to static shock this thing, but probably not. Huh. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. No, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't logged into Animal Crossing the last couple of days. What was the What was the April Fool's joke on that? I'm not a big fan of April Fools. I I think they haven't really been. My shield is yours. Uh. I haven't had any, like, you know, terrible experience, but it's just, like, all the April Fool's things are, like, bad things. It's always, like, hey, something really good's happening, and then, oh, nope, April Fool's, it's, it's not. You know, it's, like, I don't know, like, your parents are, like, all right, hey, we're going to, you know, we're going to, like, this awesome restaurant tonight, and, like, or, like, for lunch, or, and then it's, like, oh, nope, we're actually just going to the dentist. I don't know, or, or hey, school's canceled today. And you're like, really? And then they're like, nope, not canceled. Root them out. I see you. You have no alibi. And engines don't determine themselves. You know, doesn't it feel like it's always like that kind of stuff? It's never like, uh, you know, hey, you have you have school today, and you're like, uh, April Fools, no, you don't. <laughs> you know, it's never the other way around. All right, I'm I'm very I'm happy to have a defensive might like that that we're not taking that extra trample damage. That's a big deal, especially when we have. 
you know, like a 6 1, and this is going to be a 3 1, and stuff like that. That's definitely a big deal. Where are you at? 10 out of 12? Oh, Legends of Runeterra did a first expansion is Legends of Runeterra New Horizons, and it's just a it's all Animal Crossing and Legends of Runeterra stuff. That is that is right up my alley. Is right up my alley. <laughs> That's really cute. And they really went all out on this. They, you know. Yeah, there's a, there is a lot of work in that. Head to the base. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Have a third might? That might kill me. I'm not casting the the eager apprentice. We're gonna be saving the eager apprentice to discard to get excited. Hey Zexian, what's up? It's going pretty good. I'm I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday, but not not like a hundred percent. But I did um, mow my yard today, so that's exciting. New lawnmower, new house, first time mowing mowing the, the uh, yard. Something I need to do. Uh, our game that we won last game, we were going to be using Final Spark, but my opponent conceded first. Alright, well they got a Garen back, but not quite good enough. Alright, we're 2-2. Two two. That one was close. That was a mighty opponent we played against. I'm, yeah, I just I only used the lawnmower the one, you know, the one time so far. So it's not like I, I know how it will do over months of use, but I, I really liked it for this, this first time. It was um, just is an electric lawnmower. You know, you plug in the battery. Um, it was pretty quiet, you know, for, for a lawnmower. You know, it's, it wasn't super loud and. I don't have to go buy gasoline and worry about all that kind of upkeep. Um, you know, got a the front yard took me about half hour to mow. The backyard probably about the same. Maybe a little bit less in the backyard because it's just a rectangle. I I didn't do any like the trimming. You know, like I need to like 
like the stuff that the lawnmower couldn't reach, like around, you know, just like around the fences and stuff like that. Um. I do have, I did get a, a weed eater to do like the hedging and stuff, but I didn't do that. I haven't, I haven't taken that thing out of the box yet. Got the lawnmower today. I'll do that one. I'll do that soon. Uh, is your state in a closure for quarantine? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Like, kind yes, kind of. Maybe yes. I mean, you can still go out for essentials, you know? That's basically it. Like, everything's closed. But there's, like, you know, I think grocery stores are open. That's about it. That's annoying. Save me, Luke. I haven't, I haven't left my house. Like, I can't really say for sure. I haven't left the house since my birthday in mid-February, basically. Uh, I think I, nope. I think I, I guess I did like one time to go share a meal in the car with a friend, but, or with, with my dad. Um, but yeah, so I, I haven't like gone to, a, I haven't gone to a business since mid-February. So I don't even, I don't even really know what it's like out there these days. Yeah, so the electric ones can't really handle super tall or really thick grass yet, which I don't think is going to be really a problem um, for me. Um, our grass doesn't really get that thick, and it was, yeah, like, my grass is kind of tall. It wasn't, um, like, there is... You know, it was a few inches tall. You know, some of it was kind of thick, but it, it seemed to perform pretty well. I was happy with it. Happy to do whatever's needed. Attack. I maybe should have played my eight mana eight eight first. Whatever the cost. Um We had one more mana. Thermogenic beam that thing. Magic. <laughs> Godzilla always good. It's true. They have some blockers for Godzilla. I 
read all your manuscripts. Oh my, what's the correct protocol here? Sure, boss. I want to play another. Do I want to have another two one and play? I'm on it. I guess so. Straight to combat, or yeah, straight to combat. Uh, excuse me. You have no alibi. Do not interfere. I'm trying to feed my family. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. So I want to have the Tain available for their things. Um, gosh, I wish I had one more mana because I, I need. I want to really want to detain with Purify. I really wish we had one more mana. I could be dead to just 11 points of burn. My is and maybe I need to just... Maybe I just need to detain and not have Purify and let them use the burn spell on the thing that I detain. Alright, so it looks like they probably would have just had this deny anyway. Um all right, let's let all this happen, I guess. Fortunately I'm probably dead. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Draw four. First speed. Karma does not play fair. Does not play fair. Yeah, there's no packs here. Yeah, you just you just buy whatever cards you want. You just buy wild cards. Um, you you can you really don't need to spend money on this game though. You can um, pretty safely um, play the game without spending money. Like you can build a collection pretty quickly. Yeah, that's true. Also, you can just get to buy... Well, yeah, you can also just buy cards directly. So, yeah, it's the same as buying wild cards, I guess. It doesn't either way, whichever way you want to do it. Um, but, yeah, you just you just buy... You know, everything's, like, basically in the store. You just buy whatever you want. 
Um, but the rewards in this game are awesome, and they just got even better. Like the weekly rewards are just incredible. If you if you play a good amount, you're you're just gonna earn all the cards. Each one is two damage. So it's kind of nice that I don't need to use Purify on the Shadow Assassin now. But. Maybe that's something I should be doing anyway. And then blocking with like a 5-5 five five instead of blocking with a 3-1 elusive. So basically surprised that, you know, I've been surprised that we haven't been dead, but now with another draw four, them down to 11 so cards. All right, now it's definitely with Ezreal. We're 100% dead. Yeah, uh, Heimer, basically all of your all your turrets that you make get plus one, plus one. So instead of making like a 3-1 here, you'd make a Alright, so we only went two and three with Mage Seeker Lux, but the first two games that we played, I I did play them pretty poorly. And like the first one that we played, I, I should have won one hundred percent. And the second one I probably like a good chance I should have won that one too. It took me a little bit to kinda of get warmed up with the deck, I guess, and uh everything. Um you know, it's just it just happens. Like I'm not I'm not perfect. And that that first game definitely Though um, I played that one very poorly, the those two turns is what we talked about. Um, but you know, like, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, the purify wasn't amazing. It was okay, but it wasn't amazing. Um, yes, yeah, so if yeah, if your Ezreal, if you give your Ezreal life steal, then the Ezreal will heal you because it the Ezreal is. Um, the thing doing the two damage. So if Ezreal has life steal, then it will gain two life for each one of those also. Um, I did like the Eager Apprentice. I think that gave us another good thing to play early. But it felt like... I don't know. It felt like we just kind of didn't... weren't able to like get those points of damage across. And that could have been on me. That could have been uh, me needing to sequence differently, play differently. Um, I kind of feel like I did miss the four mana Mage Seeker. This Inciter, I did kind of feel like we missed it from our deck. Um, I could see maybe maybe playing it like instead of like Static Shock. Static Shock didn't really feel that good. It didn't seem necessary. 
maybe instead of static shock get get one inciter in that that way and maybe instead of one of these like you really you got to you really you want to cast one but like once you cast the one you don't really need to keep casting more over and over again um but you do need to get cast the one but maybe you just put in one inciter over that static shock um People are, you know, they're ready to fight Static Shock, that's for sure. But Anyway, there we go. So there's Mage Seeker Lux. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, please. And uh, please leave a comment as well. I'd appreciate it if you would do both of those. And also, if you would like your deck played on stream, it's just a $10 donation. And the link is down below if you want your deck played through five games um, just send me your deck code or your idea for a deck if you want me to build a deck for you. Both of those are just $10 donations. But anyway, that's it here for Mage Seeker Lux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.